like a couple of years. I was always going out and filming things, you know, whatever I could find. I've grown up my entire life just snow machining as a hobby. And I was never a snow machiner myself too much, but I always enjoyed shooting it. Two cylinders, twin 600. The clutches are right here is what drives your sled. It's kind of crazy how Kyle and I linked up. I would see videos of some of these guys that I knew, so I kind of paid attention. My friends were into it, and they used to watch the films. First crash of the season. One day I grew a, a crazy hair. Hit him up on Facebook, and I was like, hey, what have you been up to these days? Are you still doing this stuff? Because it captured my attention. My leg got caught on my dirt bike. I broke every single bone in my foot, dislocated my ankle two inches. See, that's actually better than yesterday. You weren't able to get that third toe. This is all about creating space in your foot, right? Oh. So because of the injury, Corey didn't leave Alaska to go on his normal winter trip where he goes and t does X Games and all sorts of other events down in the States. When you're from Soldotna, Alaska, you know a lot about backcountry sled. Hanging out with these guys, you know, Junker, and I was actually friends with the twins at this point. Sitting around Girdwood, me and Trav, clowning around, filming these little stupid interviews. We went out there and we found the natural hits and was going to his spot up in uh, Girdwood a lot, hanging out. Bored out of my mind, not able to ride. We got to hang out all winter long. It really just gave us a chance to become really good friends, talk about film and things we'd like to do. We were talking about all these film projects and stuff, and a couple of them we went out and I tried to shoot myself. Having fun, going out snow machine every once in a while, and cool these concepts. How did it look when you were driving at it? We wanted to step the production game up, so I knew someone we could talk to. Travis like, oh, you know, I got a buddy. We should get him involved. He was telling me about his buddy Kyle that, uh, you know, super good with cameras and how we were gonna make this stuff that you know no one's ever done before and you know Travis bullshits a lot so I didn't I, mean, I believe about 10% of what he says come to find out when I met Kyle like Travis actually wasn't lying for once Corey Davis I thought he was a Jamaican DJ he just dabbled in snow machining is that not true wait he wasn't a DJ out of Jamaica Once everyone had met, we kind of started concepting some ideas and we came up with Red Sunday and Black Sunday. We tried some interesting techniques and some different things. It actually got a lot of traction and people started to watch it. Once we developed that trust between each other, then it was, that's when everything really started to progress. From the very beginning, Corey kind of had that producer mentality. He kind of always wanted to know more. Mmm, my goodies. That was what I thought about was pretty cool about that video is that slow mode stuff. I got to be more involved with, you know, start to finish with projects and, and got to see films happen. He spent a lot of time with us in the edit room. He wanted to kind of see how it was done. It was really cool to see, you know, they came out and seen what I do. I got to go and see what they do and uh, had a lot of fun and gained a lot of respect for these guys. Who wrote this? Who wrote this? This isn't working. I'm open if anybody has an idea. Speak now, anyone. I, I actually have an idea. Well, Corey called me yesterday. I was like, hey, Trap, talk to HCF guys. What up, man? Uh, just driving around. Honestly, man, I kind of thought what, what HCF did was like really hard and like complex, but after playing around this iMovie program, like it's really easy. Been watching a lot of tutorials and stuff. Been tweaking around with this edit. 
I'm in it. I got it. Visual effects, everything. It's way better than the other two that we did, so we'll maybe put it in front of the boys, see what they think of it. Do you guys mind checking it out real quick? All right. There's no way to explain it. I'm XXX, this triple X rated. White Sunday? Yeah. We don't have to put our name on it, but... Um, you know, yeah, I think, you know, there might be something in here. You know, I'm, I was overreacting. This actually probably is something. From a filmmaking perspective, you're always looking for somebody with a really interesting story that you can capture. That was always kind of what we wanted to tell, was the story of some of these snow machiners and some of the people and these athletes that we knew. And the first time we really got an opportunity to do that was Sled Next 14. Slendex allowed us, Hybrid Color Films, to edit the Alaska segment, and that's where we really got to kind of dive into the stories of Joey and Corey specifically for that edit. And we got a lot of good feedback. A lot of people that had saw Slendex 14 said that Alaska segment was interesting because you guys kind of went beyond the jumping. It was kind of where we started to show, this is what it's like when you take the helmets off these guys. We were stacking productions leading up to this film that we always coined the name Winter Project. 